This is your LED light strip controller. It is also called a 44 key remote. It works by transmitting an infrared light, which is a light that cannot be seen to the naked eye, but can be seen on camera and serves as a signal for your lights to change channels, AKA functions, AKA colors. It shares the same fundamentals as a TV remote, except that the show here is in real life. <laughs> Generally speaking, your lights do come with a battery included, but it's always important to read the description of the lights you're purchasing for that. In order to change the color of your lights, you must point your controller towards the center of the control box, which is what this part right here is. Every single button on your controller serves a function. Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! Except this one right here. Nah, I'm playing. This is actually a very particular button. This button is to pause or resume a color when your lights are shifting from colors to colors automatically. What did he say? To start, this is your power button. Simple. Next, these control the brightness of your lights, meaning you can make your lights shine more or less by pressing the small sun to dim or the big sun to brighten. The following rows present the range of colors you can change your lights to. RGB stands for red, green, blue, and activating all the three simultaneously forms white. Under the main colors are some derivatives. You can find your violet, orange, 50th shade of blue, purple, We'll go through all of them. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but we actually missed a very specific color, which I find is the most iconic color when it comes to LED light strips. I call that color Fetch Pink. Go Fetch. Shout out to Fetch. And this is where these DIY buttons come in the picture. The DIY buttons allow you to create and save your very own do-it-yourself custom colors and you can have up to six different custom colors. To create a custom color, like that iconic fetch pink for instance, you need to select and hold on the desired DIY slot for seven seconds. In this case, we'll hold on the DIY 5. Then we want to play with the red, green and blue arrows until we find something we like. So you add some red to your liking, you add some blue to your liking and you add some green to your liking. To acquire a fetch pink, what I do is I go all the way down with the green. And once I hit that purple, I go down with the blue until I get that desired pink. Ooh wee! It's very important to understand that you can only create a DIY color using the arrows. Now to save our masterpiece, we just repress on our DIY slot and from now on, whenever we go to that slot, it is that specific color that the lights will be displaying. And just like that, we now got our fetch pink. La vie en rose, la vie en rose, la vie en rose. Ooh wee! <laughs> Jump 3 jumps between the standard red, green and blue. Jump 7 jumps between 7 colors. Fade 3 fades between the standard red, green, and blue. Fade 7 fades between 7 colors. Run it beat. Hold on. Flash flashes the white light on and off and we can make it frequent or less frequent by pressing the quick or the slow buttons to adjust the frequency. And this applies to all the other light modes. 
The auto button randomly selects between one of the five light modes, Flash, Jump 3, Jump 7, Fate 3, or Fate 7. So... Uh, let Mandom pick up a British accent for that. Yeah, down in the description below, I will link two popular brands that feature this 44 key remote with the LED light strips. I hope you learned something. Thank you for your time. I hope you will enjoy your LED light strips. Ladies, gentlemen, keep learning, get installing, keep advancing, keep achieving. Hold on, hold on, big fella. If you made it this far, I got news for you. Let me tell you what the next video is about.